How's going guys? Sandra Sheds here. First of all, I want to congratulate everyone uh, with the new year. Uh, wish you a happy new year, a successful new year. And uh, may your forearms bless you with a lot of strength in this upcoming year. Uh, hope you had a good holidays and it's time to get back on the grind. And uh, I want to talk about uh, this match that's gonna happen I believe on 7th or 8th of January so this week uh, so I saw this post a couple days ago I thought eh, it's interesting you know uh, probably nothing serious you know just some uh, hype maybe but uh, no as it turns out uh, I hear that uh, Kamel Yablonski and Devon Larratt will have a super match with the left arm on 7 or 8 of January in uh, Vegas uh, in Arm Wars uh, which is quite interesting because uh, Kamil will have a super match with Cody Merritt two days before that on uh, Knuckles Up so I don't know how that works with, without the Cody match I would give probably still give the edge to Devon, but I would say Kamil could have a good chance of winning that match or having a great match, like close match uh, because his press is pretty lethal uh, if he can get in his position but with the match with Cody two days ago, two days before if he gets through Cody super easily uh, maybe then he has a chance but, you know, let's just forget Cody match. Let's, let's talk about Kamil versus Devon. How, to, how that would go if this match would happen on its own. So, I believe with the left arm, Kamil's press is probably uh, one of the best in the world. Like, there, are not, there aren't so many guys especially with the left arm that uh, are like world-class pressers or flop wrist pressers. Obviously there's uh, Jerry, but you know, he doesn't really arm wrestle with the left arm. Uh, Jerry is mostly known for his right arm matches. And uh, like, yeah, who else is there? Like, I can't think of anyone. So, uh, and that's interesting because you can press through Devon's left arm. Uh, you can do that, and uh, I have done it myself, talking from experience, uh, because Devon doesn't have the best angle, best back pressure with the left arm or side pressure. He has a lot of pronation, still has a quite a bit of hand with the left arm, but he doesn't have the best back pressure, and that's the way you can push through that arm and one more point is Devon gets tired with the left arm he gets tired I would say pretty quickly compared to his right arm definitely and that's area Kamil can definitely exploit if he can get in his position like deep inside with the shoulder behind the arm I believe he has a good chance uh, in this match if he's fresh with the match with Cody two days before that I'm not so sure oh there's obviously there's there's Reno Masic uh, although Reno I don't believe he has the all the top end pressing strength with the left arm uh, combined with the, with his fast start uh, I think, yeah, probably Reno and uh, and uh, Kamil with the left arm. There, those are two like two only guys in a heavyweight, super heavyweight uh, class uh, that can uh, pull that move off. You know, I myself like, yeah, I can do that, but with my left arm, I have limited mobility and flexibility in my elbow, so I can't really get that deep behind my shoulder. And, uh, you know, left is left, you know, it, it doesn't really work that well. 
but yeah, Reno, Reno definitely is one of those guys that can do that, but compared to Kamil, I still believe Kamil might have more like top end pressing strength if we talk about pure pure power. Uh, Reno has one thing really well working for him is he's fast. Uh, sometimes he like like in our match I believe he hit before the go but uh, doesn't matter he's still pretty fast off the go and that's one area that he usually uses you know to to exploit his opponent's weaknesses and uh, win the match with a floppers press with a quick start and uh, after that he has also pretty good pressure but if we talk if we if we say we take a weight and who can press more with the triceps and especially in the flow press position I believe Kamil probably could do more I've seen him do like 100 kilo pressing uh, with the triceps and uh, obviously there's there's not really like pure tricep power there's a lot of bone bone uh, involved and a lot of like frame involved but Still, I believe Kamil uh, has more power in the in a floppers press than Reno, and uh, that's one area that Kamil can use against Devon. Uh, I don't know how much Devon like gives gives you how much rope he gives you or is willing to give, but uh, if Kamil can get the start, because uh, Devon says with his left arm he's like he's faster than with his right like he's fast with, with left arm more oh, I'm so fast but uh, I'm not sure he's that fast because Kamel gets in his, his his position pretty well obviously it didn't work out with uh, with Ivan Matushenko but you know Ivan is a different beast and hooking against floppers press like that doesn't really work that well I don't think but yeah, if, if Kamil can get his shoulder behind and like uh, stay on his side of the table, you know, not be off center too much, I believe he can eventually tire, maybe tire Devon out. Uh, because uh, Kamil doesn't need pronation, Kamil doesn't need the hand, uh, he doesn't need any of those things. And uh, if Devon is left like holding with his back for sure because on the left arm he has not that much of a side for sure when we pulled uh, obviously back then uh, maybe he wasn't as strong with the left arm as he is now i believe but uh, honestly i wasn't as well like uh, back then my left arm was uh, pretty injured uh, i wasn't connected in anything right now it's a little bit better but still like i don't have that much of a range of motion so uh, I don't know how that compares but back then uh, I didn't feel much side pressure sure power from Devon uh, yes he had a superior hand in the end and better endurance but I believe if if you can get in a good position right from the go uh, behind the shoulder in your like in your side of the table there's a good chance uh, of uh, beating Devon with that move uh, can Kamil do that honestly I don't know and nobody knows uh, without the match with Cody I would say Kamil has a good chance like maybe I would give 40 60 or like 70 65 35 uh, still Edge to Devon, but uh, right now with the Cody match, uh, I don't know. I'm not so sure he can do that because bigger guys don't recover that well as well. And uh, it's only two days ago, uh, like two days after Cody match, he has a match with Devon. And usually, usually you you feel the most pain, not right after the match, not on the second day, but on a third day. So that would be the second or third day of the match and 
that's when your arms feel the most fatigued and you feel the most pain from the match so uh, it's gonna be a hard day for Kamil uh, but if he can pull this off if he can I believe he can beat Cody but if he can beat Cody and then Devon two days later uh, that's gonna be impressive and uh, uh, I'm very much looking forward to that so uh, tune in I think I believe knuckles up is this Saturday January 6th uh, and uh, armors are two days later I'm not sure if it will be pre-recorded or not probably will but uh, then you will see it after it is uh, produced and with all the interviews and stuff uh, should be great so yeah guys uh, gonna talk to you soon more training videos coming up uh, yeah stay strong and uh, let's get back on the grind this year. Let's get it.